Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. Uh, in the world of DevOps, uh, we are, you know, churning out code and applications in a very fast pace. But uh, in the process of doing so, there are a lot of uh, mistakes that we do. Uh, we forget the security side of things, be it the infrastructure, be it your application code. And we always make those uh, errors we, where we hard code passwords or, you know, secrets or sensitive data. So all these issues, uh, you know, can cause a lot of uh, headache uh, at, you know, later stages. So uh, the new thing that has come up, it's not new anymore, but you would have already heard about uh, DevSecOps. So DevSecOps is nothing but security uh, around the DevOps process. So the, you know, uh, Dev sec ops which is your development security and your operations so security uh, security side of things is just a layer on top of your entire devops process so it would start from the very beginning where you are actually writing your code uh, so you test it out there you make sure that your code is uh, like uh, it's not having any uh, any kind of uh, vulnerabilities uh, for example you're not having any hard-coded passwords so all these things are you know uh, taken care before you actually deploy the application so the le shift left approach uh, that you would have heard of uh, comes into play so, so if you see my screen the first stage would be the plan and develop that's where you use your uh, id security plugins for example if you are uh, if you're using uh, anything like sonar lint or you can have the check of uh, uh, for your uh, you know uh, infrastructure as a code or you can have sneak uh, id plugins so those are the things that you can have in your visual studio code while coding it will tell you okay these are the you know code uh, bits which are you know uh, not that great and you need to change those and it will tell you this particular uh, code can be written in a way uh, which is more secure so it will give you all those prompts uh, then the developer or, or the devops guy who's writing your infrastructure as a code uh, he fixes those and then pushes it once in your azure devops that would uh, trigger a uh, code analysis if you have your sonar cloud configured it would trigger that and it will check the syntax or uh, again it will check check the syntax and the issues if there are any in your code before uh, you know a code review from your peer so there is a peer code review as well where if uh, if sonar cloud missed something or or any any of the you know uh, sas to, yeah, tools has missed something your peer review will uh, be able to identify that so that's where your uh, sas tooling comes in while you commit the code or you merge into your main then you build and test that's where your dast will come in so if you have uh, you would have heard about OWASP zap uh, that's one of the dast tools that is quite popular so that will actually test your entire application uh, while it is running for any of the you know, SQL in injection issues or all those kind of vulnerabilities it will identify that uh, it will uh, find vulnerabilities in the running web application so there are different ways OWASP zap scans a uh, basic a passive baseline scan or a full scan depending on the configuration and after that it uh, once you are in production you do your smoke tests and you know then you keep monitoring and that's the later stage and uh, yeah and whenever uh, you get a chance you do a pen test for your application uh, which is quite expensive uh, because you need to hire proper professionals to do the penetration testing that's where uh, people will you know uh, intentionally try to hack through your application so that that's tested and then the issues are fixed so this is this is the entire you know uh, discipline or uh, i would say the the philosophy uh, around the entire uh, devsecops so this is just an introduction of uh, what all things are involved in your devsecops how you uh, actually uh, in, involve the security side of things into your devops process uh, one of the uh, you know uh, the tool that I have used for my infrastructure as a code uh, is Chekhov and you can uh, find one of the video in my channel uh, where I use Chekhov for scanning through my Terraform code, identifying the issues and then fixing those. So that's there. 
for the application code scanning uh, at, at the IDE level, I've uh, used Sonar Lint and then uh, we are using Sonar Cloud in our DevOps uh, pipelines. So always uh, whenever there is a you know push, uh, there is a quality gate that checks uh, comes in. Uh, Sonar Cloud, uh, whenever there is a PR, it also scans like there are code smells that uh, comments it will push into your Azure DevOps PR and then you have to resolve those for it to actually complete the uh, merge uh, for uh, our software composition analysis we are using snake uh, the paid plan for snake uh, where uh, our entire code uh, is scanned for any uh, dependencies that are having any vulnerabilities so that gets identified for example if there is a an older version of some uh, libraries or modules that you uh, import and that has got some issues so it will ask you to upgrade those and uh, to fix those issues so th that's where we use sneak uh, and we use OWASP zap for our uh, dast so yeah this this is these are the tools that we have been using and uh, you know we are constantly looking for improving our process and working on it so that that's all for uh, the DevSecOps uh, as a philosophy and what are the tools that's involved and how you can use them to uh, increase uh, the you know uh, security and quality of your uh, code and application so yeah thanks for watching and keep supporting